It's Crazy Cooter here. I'm going to do a little quick video for y'all. Show you what all I pack. And uh, give y'all an idea about what I carry. My pack alone is about 80, 85 pounds altogether. But one of the best things I carry is this right here in my jet bowl. I can take this. And this is your pot support. I can give y'all a quick demonstration real quick. Let me pause this for a second. Okay. Now, this here is your tank stabilizer or your legs. And um, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You just unfold your legs out. They with both hands. And a little ridge there, edge of your tank right here. These little tanks will fit inside here. The bigger tanks won't. But um, it uses the, uh, the first slot. As you can see, there's two slots there. This is for the little tank. This is for the bigger tanks. And it'll sit on top there, and it'll fit down in there. You take your burner and, uh, you know, screw on there like that. Your pot support, this is uh, this is sewed separate along with the uh, tank legs, or the support legs. They're sewed separately. Uh, as you can see, these little things right here will fold outward. This is uh, called a pot support. And it uh, sits on top of the boiler, or the burner, I mean. And it'll lock in place. And I'm just going to show you real quick. You can take like a... I have a, a jet bowl frying pan. It's buried down my, down my pack. But uh, it'll sit on top here. And these will lock, kind of lock it in place. But it still fall if you mess with it. Um, but you can put like... Uh, for example... Some little $5 stainless steel cups at Walmart here and I sit on top there you can uh, cook ramen or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever you want to put you know and um, or you could take this right here it's got two little um, it's got two little nipples that line up with this right here and sit on there and twist, lock in place. And within two minutes, you can fill this thing up like three quarters full of water. Within two minutes, it's boiling hot. It is boiling, you know, ready to go. And I don't have it on this one, but my old one, it's at my mom's house. Uh, I have a coffee press. And um, what it does, when you get this full of water and it's boiling and stuff, you take your coffee, you pour it in there, and you take the coffee press, and it's got a little, it'll fit down inside there, then this goes on top, you got a little handle, a little stem that goes down through here, and you slowly push it down there, and your coffee's ready. You ready to pack it up, put your legs in first, and then you put your boiler, or burner in, put your cap back on your gas, and sit down there like that. Pot support, you fold it back. And it flips upside down. It fits in there like that. Put your lid on it. This here is a can be used as a measuring cup, the bottom of it. You put it on there, it slips, it's got a little groove, it slips into place. Then you twist it, and it'll lock. And these little cups right here are only five bucks at Walmart. They're like twelve at Academy. So and then you got I keep them right here in the side pouch. It's the statement pouch here. And put down there. Now technically these are not legal to carry on a bus or Amtrak or airplane because of gas canister. Because it's actually legal to transport that way, but you know what? Who the, who the hell gets it in? You know, 
I always carry extra S hooks for hanging up my tarp and stuff like that. Got these little D clips or Monty clips. Carries bandits bold. And right here, carry uh, my tarp clips. The little gator clips. So, found your tarp, you lock it down, and tie this around a tree or a fence or whatever. And I also carry my paracord in there. This is a utility pouch or a canteen pouch. Uh, carry my jet bowl, eating utensils and stuff, forks and spoons and knives. And uh, fits in there perfectly. I can stick it down on top there. And of course, extra power bank for my phone. If I'm not plugged in somewhere. I'll have a battery. And then got my movie, got my winter gear and street clothes in there. On this side here got a another power bank. And I carry all my lighter fluid, deodorant, uh, shaving cream, stuff like that. And all that stuff. And let's see. Got another utility pouch here, carries my first aid kit. And this here carries like, I carry my like ibuprofen, eye drops, ear drops, stuff like that. And there, and uh, got a, so nine millimeter pouches, they got a couple knives, my extra multi-tool, flashlight, knife sharpener. Down here's my MSS, military sleep system. It's a, Four piece sleeping bag set. This is a compression sack. It'll, the only way you can put it in the Molly 2 at the bottom is use compression sack because it's the only thing that'll hold it. And of course, my, my home bum slayer machete. I don't like this one because just the way the grip is, the blade's too heavy for that grip. You go to sling it or cut with it, you know, and it wants to slip out of your hand. And, um, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's a good brand. It's sharp. It's just that damn handle. I like my Gerber Gator Junior better. And I got a mat pouch here. You can put paperwork, paperwork stuff in. It's water resistant on top. I keep my extra supply bags in there for bandits food. Uh, got my water key. Electrical tape right there. Got my headlamp in here. And over here. Got a flashlight. And the way, I hate, the way I've been doing this for a long time now, my water jug, somebody asked me a while back how I carry it. Just like that. It slips right in there. And I mean, after a while, it'll start tearing the thing here, so I have to sew it back sometimes. But that uh, hook his leash on right there. And that's about it. Well, besides my bucket, but uh, here's Bandit's pack. It's only about five pounds right now. He carries these are just Molly vest, which is about thirty bucks on eBay, and the two Molly butt packs. And they fit on just like any other Molly thing. And it's got three straps that holds it on to him, one around the front, and two around the bottom. And uh, in the summertime, if you don't want to carry a heavy sleeping bag. This is a poncho liner, a.k.a. a wooby. They're the best damn things you can get. They'll keep you warm in the summer and in the winter. If you got more than one in the winter time, it's all right. Because putting them inside of a poncho, there's no place for your head to go through, so no use of putting it in there. But I take my field tarp, and this right here in the summertime, and I'll tie this to my field tarp, roll it up, Get your own bed roll, that's all you need. And my foam pad and sleeping pad, it fits on top here. And um, let me show you my bucket real quick. Turn the light on here. I keep miscellaneous stuff in here, extra stuff. Bandits treats, duct tape, hot chocolate, chewing tobacco, oatmeal, and of course, my cigarettes. Can't go without my cigarettes. 
And I have my own miscellaneous junk kit here. Well, I actually got my razor and stuff like that in there. Uh, extra paracord, which I found. And stuff people give me that I don't fucking need, like fucking toe warmers. And, uh, all types of different types of stuff. And marker. I don't know what the hell this is. Public receipts. Stuff I can't use. And, of course, here's my bucket lid, which is kind of cushion, swivels, it's not all that good, but, you know, it's, gets, gets you back after a while, but, of course, my sleeping pad there, rolls up tighter than that, and in the summertime, I have, where is it, ah, it's right here, my camelback, what I'm going to do with this one is uh, I'm going to try to rig up some way to um, take that bite valve off and just put some kind of uh, quarter turn valve or something like this right there. I might just take this off and just use it like that. Just the way I can fill bandit's water bowl up with it without having to tote that jug around so the jug get, gets weighing you down on one side and they. Um, you know, they're hard to find like that one. And uh, I got that in the Walgreens a long time ago. And uh, that's about it. So, but if you ever get a chance to get these little Monty clips, get them. They're, they'll help you out a lot. You got two different kinds. You got the spring, the spring loader right there. With a, this is called a D clip. This one here is called a Molly clip. And uh, this one here is an early spring assisted. You just press down on it and it comes off. And uh, easy to put on, as you can see. Just slips in there. And uh, my home bone terrace hurt, 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 hunting permit. Hurting, hunting, same thing. And of course, extra S, uh, S clips. You never know when you need them. Great for holding up tarps and stuff like that. But anyway, that's, that's what I tote. All together, close to 100 pounds. But next summer, I'm going to think. I'm thinking about getting um, a different kind of pack. It's going to be a, about the size of a. It's going to be like an 80 liter pack. It's going to be like taller, and skinnier, and I won't take my sleeping bag or a bunch of other stuff with me. I'll just leave it like this and just take what I need out of here and put it in my other, put it in my other pack. That way I got a lighter pack in the summer. But that's all for now.